my channel. Today I have a big announcement for you and I am also sharing my Micrometic Dimensions for a finished read. So it's a big day. Let's go ahead and dig into the announcement. If you saw my video last week on my new favorite style of gouge shaped and profiled cane, you'll know that I had some specific requirements of how to order the cane, but it was only offered if you bought it in bulk. Not anymore. I have worked with Barton Cane in order to create the Aronoft style of cane so that you can order the cane and you aren't required to buy it in bulk and you end up with the specifications and my personal recommendations. First off, this cane is exclusively offered at Barton Cane in the Donati style. It has a shorter tube than most other types of cane that you would purchase mass marketed. I personally use a shorter tube and a longer blade to create a darker sound out of the reed. So this comes with a 26 millimeter tube. If you've never worked with a 26 millimeter tube, you can go ahead and order this kind of cane and try it. Just keep the overall length the same. And I have to say that for those of you that are using a shorter tube than you're used to, Barton Cane, in order to get the 26 millimeter tube, is simply just moving that collar two millimeters down lower from their regular 28 standard. The overall shape is the Rieger 1A. The profile for the Aaron Off Style Cane is the standard profile offered by Barton Cane. Other elements of this cane that make it special and unique is that it comes unscored. Now, this is important if you watched my last video because I noted that the Donati cane, although I love it, does have some moments where it's quite fragile. By ordering this cane unscored, it gives you the potential to score it on your own. And you can use that crosshatch scoring that I like to use when I form my reads in order to disperse a crack so that you're less likely to end up with any triangle arching in the center of the tube. For those of you who are wondering, I think it's important to let you know that I am not making any money off of Barton Kane sharing this information with you or creating the Aronoff style. This exists on their website solely to help you guys as read makers. As part of this, I am also sharing my Micrometic Dimensions on their website. Now, a little bit about these dimensions. These are my finished read dimensions on my top five Barton Kane reads that I made over the past three months. So if you're looking at these dimensions and they look extraordinarily light to you, that's okay, they should. When I start out scraping a read, just from the point of making a blank, I will clip the tip, and after I clip the tip, I'll put just a tiny bit of a tip on it, and I start playing on it right away to start breaking it in. It will become more resistant. As it becomes more resistant, I scrape it down. So when you're looking at these light dimensions, note that these are not until the very end of a finished read. It takes me about two weeks to get a read from the point where I clip the tip on it to the point of the dimensions that you're looking at. If you don't already own a micrometer, I highly suggest you get a micrometer so that you can start working with micrometric dimensions. For myself and my own personal style of read making, I saw the greatest leap in progress and in my own ability to be successful as a read maker when I took the guesswork out of the reads and I started dealing solely with science. I take the dimensions every three millimeters on the reed, except for the heart. The heart is in between six and nine millimeters, and there I actually do a separate dimension because that's where I find the center of the tone and the colors reside. But by using a micrometer regularly, you can start to see consistency, and you can make sure that there is no guesswork. You can see what you do to a reed and then how it alters the overall outcome. Other aspects that are on Barton's website that you might find helpful, they also share my read wire placements. I do have a tendency to move the second wire up or back, depending if I need a little bit brighter sound, I will move it closer to the first wire, and if it's looking for a darker sound, I will move it slightly lower. So the dimensions on there are for the darkest read that I could create. 
Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this and you're excited about being able to order some of the cane that I have been working with and enjoying and try it out without having to do a bulk order and to get the specifications that I talk about here on my channel. If you're excited about this or you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep up on all of the excitement that's happening in my world, be sure to subscribe or follow me on Instagram and Twitter for regular updates. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! I was looking for a type of cane that I could make it through six to eight hours of rehearsal. Um, sometimes that includes a concert in that six to eight hours. And I could get a dark, dense sound, but the cane was not too hard. It was not too soft. It offered a density of colors from the very get-go.